Well, hello there. How are you doing today? Guess what? Today, I have got some mind-blowing hacks that are life-changing. These are genius hacks that you are absolutely gonna love and most of them are using items from the Dollar Tree. So come on in, let's get started. you some genius hacks. These are my favorite hacks of all times. Now are these hacks that I came up with? Absolutely not. But these are most definitely hacks that I have incorporated into my house and things that I do that have been life changing. These are genius hacks that I want to share with you that I think you should know about because I think you're going to love them and they're going to make your life just a bit easier too. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let me show you some of these hacks that you can do using items that you can get from the Dollar Tree, and some that are just plain great hacks. Let's get to it. Not gonna lie, pretty excited about these new barrel pots that you can find at Dollar Tree right now. I picked up several for this hack. You're gonna need one, yep, just one. And if you don't have rice at home, pick up a bag at Dollar Tree. I needed about one and a half bags because I'm gonna pour it right inside of this pot, filling that pot up. You're gonna need a bag of sand, only one, and you're gonna pour that sand right on top of the rice, just like so. Then you're gonna head on over to the pet section, pick up one of these metal bowls. There's this rubber ring on it. We don't need that. You can easily remove it and discard it just like that. This bowl is gonna go right in the center on top of that sand. Metal bowl is a must for this, no ceramic. You wanna stick with the metal. Around that metal bowl, I'm gonna grab a bag of these stones that you can get from Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna pour those stones right around the outside of that metal bowl. Yeah, metal bowl. When you grab those stones, make sure to grab a bag of this crushed glass because that's gonna go inside this metal bowl. No need to fill it completely up. Then you're gonna grab a bottle of isopropyl alcohol, 70% will do, and you're gonna pour it right on top of the glass there. You're gonna take this outside, you're gonna light the center of this, and would you look at what you have. You have a mini fire pit, or you have a small tiki torch. This is definitely something that I would keep outside and it's not something that I would walk away from and leave, but I tell you, I made several of these for the back and the front yard, and I absolutely love them. What an amazing fire feature to add to your outdoor decor. When you're in the kitchen area at Dollar Tree, pick up this plastic sponge holder. It has suction cups on the back side of it. These can be used for more than just sponges. How about putting some cheese in them and utilizing some of that extra space in your refrigerator. Amazing, right? I love that. You can use multiple of these in your refrigerator to use up that space. How about these push lights? These push lights are great. They're operated by AAA batteries, I believe. Yep, you push them, they're pretty bright. They have adhesive on the backside. How about putting them under your cabinets for those under cabinet light features. Love that. Look at how amazing that is. Quick, easy, budget friendly, and you can switch out the batteries whenever you need it and you're not using electricity. When you see these towel racks, these metal towel racks at Dollar Tree, pick one of these up. They are expandable. They actually come apart with a pretty good tug there. And to this, why not put some paper towels? Yeah, paper towels. You don't wanna use an extra thick roll. A medium sized roll paper towel is good. I found that the paper towels from Costco work. So here we've got the paper towel on the rack. Maybe open up your cabinet, set it right inside your cabinet, just like so if you don't wanna have a permanent paper towel holder attached to your cabinets. And just like that, you've got a paper towel dispenser for the bargain price of $1.25. Amazing, I love these things. When you're in the office section, Dollar Tree has these new office, I guess, accessory holders that are buffalo check. 
pick up four of them. When you've got four of them, yep, I love these. My craft room is farmhouse, so that's why I use these. They do have solid colored ones as well. Try hot gluing four, five, six of them together, however many you need to make this. An open holder for your markers, say your colored pencils, maybe crayons. I'm not gonna lie, I love to color by number. I've got these really cool coloring books that I got on Amazon. And so I love having my colored pencils, my crayons, and my markers accessible like this. This hack here is one that I saw from Catherine over at Do It On A Dime. I'm gonna use this Fabuloso and some Dawn. You're gonna need Dawn or any soap dispenser. I like this Fabuloso because it's a thicker one and this is the antibacterial one. And so for what I'm using it for, antibacterial is a must. You're gonna go ahead and remove the top from your soap dispenser. Your soap dispenser, yeah, that. Remove the top from your Fabuloso. You can go ahead and put it back on your Dawn soap to close it up. You're gonna take that soap topper, you're gonna place it right on top of your Fabuloso. Now this is where the antibacterial part comes in. Because this is a thicker Fabuloso and it's antibacterial, it's gonna work perfect for cleaning the inside of your toilet. And look at how easily we dispensed it. Ah, oh, amazing. Now, Dollar Tree has Ajax and they've got the regular Fabuloso. I personally love this Ajax. This scent is hands down my favorite scent. This is a citrus and eucalyptus scent. I love using citrus for cleaning. Go ahead and remove that top from the Ajax. Again, this is Catherine's hack. You're gonna take one of these water bottle, spray bottle toppers. You're gonna pop it right onto that Ajax bottle. And just like that, you have got a spray cleaner. Now this Ajax spray cleaner is perfect for cleaning your showers with. You can go ahead and spray those walls with it. But the best part is there's another hack that I absolutely love that I found really saves my back. I'm not getting any younger. I'm not the spring chicken I used to be. So scrubbing my showers and the bathtubs, it can be a bit of a job when you've got three of them to do. So once you've got your shower and your bathtub good and sprayed and it's set on there for a little bit, fill up your bathtub, pick up one of Dollar Tree's stiffer brooms, that base there, attach it to the pole and look at how easily you can scrub your shower tile and your bathtubs. I find that using the stiffer brush is the better one because it really gets that grime off, that soap and grime. But I tell you, this saves my back because I'm not on my knees, I'm not bending over, and it just makes cleaning your bathrooms a lot easier. Amazing, right? I love that hack. And if you're somebody who doesn't have the detachable shower head, make sure to pick up one of Dollar Tree's pitchers and you can easily rinse off the tile of your shower, the walls of your shower with a pitcher. Scented laundry boosters. Dollar Tree carries this brand name, these Unstoppables by Downey. These are a great find, but I find that not every Dollar Tree has them, but most Dollar Trees have these laundry fragrance booster beads. This tropical one is my favorite. I've only seen them in three different scents. You're gonna take one of Dollar Tree's water bottles. You're gonna put some of those fragrant beads into the water bottle. I'd say a third of the bottle should go in there. Now with these beads, if you take and just add some really hot water to it, it'll dissolve those beads. And now you have got a scented fragrance that you can use in place of Febreze to freshen up your couches. Mm-hmm. Just your favorite scent, amazing, right? Or your dog beds, just to kind of freshen them up and get some of that pet scent out. Air wicks. Air wick refills can be a bit pricey. If you remove the bottle itself, Dollar Tree has some of their own scented refill bottles. Now these bottles are not gonna fit in your air wicks. Again, the tropical is my favorite scent. As I was standing here, I saw that Dollar Tree actually had a smaller Airwick bottle. So if you can find those, great. 
Another one of my favorites is the waterfall scent. You can easily remove the tops and once you remove the tops from your air wick and the Dollar Tree, come on, get it off there. It's going to come off. There it is. It pops right off. Once you remove those tops, you can easily then pour the Dollar Tree scent into the air wick. And these Dollar Tree scents, they actually smell very fragrant. You're going to want to remove the wick, the old wick, and replace it with the new wick. It is the same size, so it's going to work so you're not mixing your scents up. Go ahead and replace your air wick top. And just like that, you can throw this stuff away. It's not needed anymore, along with that smaller bottle that's not gonna fit in your air wick plug-in. And just like that, you can plug it in. You've got a refill for $1.25 that's gonna smell amazing. I do, I cover my couches with blankets to keep them clean, but I also have blankets on my couch to snuggle up with while we're watching TV. Hi, Winnie. Yep, never fails. Whenever I pull a blanket out, she wants to lay on it or she wants to play or help me. I just love her. It's almost time for her sweater to go away. Well, I don't much like leaving my blankets on the couch, but I do. Sometimes I'll fold it up and just put it on the foot of the chase. This hack is amazing. If you fold your blanket longwise in fours, just like I'm doing here, once you've got it folded and laid out flat, if you take one end and fold it up, you're gonna see that you have a pocket here. Take the other end, tuck it into that pocket. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I love this hack. Once you've got it good and folded, you've got a nice, thick, sturdy blanket that's folded nicely that then, yeah, can look like a pillow that you're adding to your couch. Oh my goodness, what a fun way to disguise having blankets on your couch. It's a win-win, right? Another hack is to take your blanket, fold it long ways again, and roll it. Yeah, roll your blanket. Then just take your blanket and tie it in a knot. Fun, right? You're tying your blanket in a knot. And what a fun pillow decor piece to add to your couch that is easy to untie and use, but is also a statement piece when you just set it out just like this. Oh, cool, right? I love it. I'm doing this forever. My last favorite hack is one that everybody's probably seen before using these napkin holders and the metal paper towel holders. By taking four of those napkin holders, two of them, you're gonna place one on each side of your paper towel holder and you're gonna need a few zip ties for this. You're gonna zip tie those napkin holders to the paper towel holder in four different spots there at the bottom. Then you're gonna take the other two and you're gonna stack them right on top. And again, you're gonna use some zip ties to hold those in place. And this makes for the perfect storage of your apple barrel or folk art paints. I know that as the seasons come around, I pull out specific colors that I keep in my craft room. Since it's spring, I've got my spring colors out because that's what I'm using in a lot of my DIYs. And look at how perfectly it stores them. I love this hack. What's one of your favorite hacks? I'm curious to know because I am always up for a good new hack. I hope that today's hacks, there were some that you found that would be useful and helpful in your life. If you're looking for more DIY inspiration, guess what? You can click on the video right over here and it'll take you to some of my past favorites. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. But most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive, please. I am. Bye for now, everybody.